Hi all, it's Terhi here. I'm happily sharing my new process video for HipKit Club, which I did with January HipKits. Um, I actually did few layouts before this process video and the layout because my camera was stolen, but now I got it back. Well, not the same camera, but my travel insurance covered it for me. Yay! Happy, happy, happy. And now I can do it these process videos again, which is really nice. Uh, anyway, I started with the color kit from January. And as you see, we have this gorgeous stencil in the kit and I decided to use it in a new way. I added some washi tape stripes to cover parts of the stencil and this way I got a whole new stencil for me. Uh, I love the pattern of this stencil but I didn't want to add it too much all over. Um, that's because I'm scrapbooking one of the photos of our newest puppy called Elsa and the photograph is really light, the colors are really um, pastel toned and really, 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 really light, so I didn't want to add too much on the background. Uh, this is a nice way to make your own stencils or use your um, old stencils in a new way. Uh, just add your washi tapes and you can take them off and add it differently and again take them off. I'm adding uh, the texture paste which was also in January color kit. It, it's from Haiti Swap and it's, it has this nice little uh, metallic shade so it's perfect for this use. I really love it. Uh, I'm adding the same texture paste on top of these cork shapes we had also in January kits. Um, I love the cork uh, color, but as I have some texture paste um, on the background, I decided I want to add it on top of a few embellishments too. Uh, it's a simple and really quick trick to do and add some mixed media on your pages. And I really recommend you to do it. And then I'm wondering which papers I'm going to use. And today I'm not going to 12 by 12 papers, even though the paper kit was really awesome in January, but so was the Project Life kit. And as I'm not doing a Project Life albums this year, well, I haven't <laughs> done them for a while, like never, I decided to use the cards as a paper patterned paper. I really love the patterns and I really love the papers are really thick and well, I really love them, especially this month because you have these floral uh, patterns and triangles and this and that. So I want to use them for a scrapbook layout. We also had in the same kit, in the Project Life kit, uh, this um, cut out words and phrases so I will use them too. I'm just cutting them off and then I'm going to add them to the layout. At this point of this creation process I decided to use quite a large piece of this floral paper for the uh, scrapbook layout because it's so pretty. It's so pretty and it's so lovely and it, it matches perfectly for the uh, blue metallic texture paste. So I decided to keep that like a big piece and then I'm doing some small stripes and do a little, very little, uh, teeny tiny paper cluster behind the photograph. And I was thinking about using all colored words and phrases here and there for the layout, but at this point I decided not to. I will stay with the really light colors, like uh, light purple and a light pink and white and all pastel colors, because I don't want to add anything too dark for this layout. These cork elements are still quite dark, even though it doesn't seem right now on the video. But um, the sides of the cork 
elements are really dark, as the cork is really dark. So that's why I decided that's my um, dark thing for the layout and it will give the contrast enough for this layout. We had uh, amazing Epamera pack, exclusive Epamera pack of different kind of flowers and words and shapes also in the project life kit so i picked up the flower from the the epamera pack and then i will i added the title on top of the flower just x and o because that's enough the photograph tells it all she is so sweet some pearls and some mist drops and that's it i think this was success <laughs> i really like this layout because it has lots of uh, pastel tones and it's so light and airy as i want it to be so thank you for watching and i hope we'll see you soon again thank you for watching and bye